Hey everyone, my name is Hans and today I'll be giving you a blueprint on how to build a 100k a year business from scratch with zero upfront capital using a content repurposing business. So um, the other day I saw a tweet from Justin Wells and if you don't know who Justin Wells is, um, I highly recommend that you check him out. You follow him because he's posting some great content. So in his own words, he's a diversified solopreneur, so he's building um, a one person business to 5 million in revenue, which is pretty impressive. Um, so the other day he tweeted, I spent 40 bucks and 10 minutes to generate 7.5K in sales. Here's how, so that was a great hook. I was hooked. Um, so I read the tweet and as a fellow entrepreneur, my, uh, the cogs in my, my brain started spinning and I started thinking about how to turn this into a business because I saw potential. Now, I don't wanna start the business myself because I already have plenty on my plate. Um, but I figured I would, you know, throw this out there and I'm sure someone can use this to build a hundred K plus a year business. And the best part about this is, is that it's a great offer for people. Uh, I'll get to that in just a second. Um, but potentially even better, it requires absolutely zero upfront capital. So, um, you can just do it. You can start today and you need to invest in anything on even a website. So. Um, let's get started. Uh, so what Justin said is he listens for problems that can be solved. So Justin has a really big audience. Uh, I have his LinkedIn profile here on another tab. He has like 300, 400K people on there. Uh, he has a lot of people on Twitter as well, a lot of followers. As you can see, his, this tweet got 1.3 million views. Um, so he has a lot of reach. Now, um, he has a lot of content that is really popular in that tree. So he has top 50 a top 50 piece of content that have uh, combined 21 million plus views that he launched as a separate product. Basically, someone told him um, that um, someone told him, listen, um, I wish I could, you know, find an easier way to access your most popular posts. So then what he did, he created uh, a swipe file. He launched it in less than 24 hours. He created uh, 7.5K in sales. Um, and the great thing is he used a pre-launch strategy, which a lot of content creators do before they launch a course. They want to see if people are actually interested in the content, the course, the swipe file that they're about to put out. And if not, they're not going to invest any time or resources in it, which makes a lot of sense. So he um, generated sales. He saw, okay, this is something that people want. Then he went on to Fiverr and he said, hey, here are my most popular posts. Turn that into an ebook. Um, someone did that for him. He uploaded that to Gumroad and then he started selling that. And um, he has made, I think, a hundred over a hundred K in sales uh, since he um, since he, he put out that swap file. So that's pretty impressive. Now, you and I, we don't have the same audience. Justin does. So how can we still uh, do the same thing and, and make that kind of money? Um, and the answer is pretty simple. We leverage the audience of other people. So the business idea that we have today is pretty simple. What we're going to do is we are going to contact popular content creators on social media. So in our example, we're going to go over a LinkedIn example, but obviously you can dig into Twitter, um, um, Instagram, YouTube, what have you. So we're going to offer to create swipe files of the most popular posts. We're going to pre-launch that for them. So we do everything for them, which is part of our service. We set up that Gumroad profile if they don't already have one. We create the book cover or we have it created. Um, and then we just tell them, listen, everything is here. This way you should be sending people. They create a couple of posts online. We can even draft the post for them. And then um, if, you know, if people actually want to buy their stuff, then that's great then we take their actual most popular content and we turn it into a swipe file or an ebook. So we leverage their audience to generate sales. And the only thing that we do that we charge is we track, uh, we charge a share or percentage of the revenue that they generate. Um, and that you can track pretty easily because, hey, we manage their Gumroad account. It's just set up, you know, they need to set up their bank account and all that. So you share the login. They set that up and you can see on Gumroad, you can become an affiliate and then he used your link or he or she used your link to promote it or you just, you know, you um, you work with the Gumroad reports there and they transfer your share of the revenue to you. 
Um, but that's something for later. First, let's have a look at how we are going to start this. So we want to contact popular content creators and we are going to tell them, hey, we want to help you make more money. So how do we do that? So probably the easiest way is to look for people similar to Justin Wells. So here's his LinkedIn profile, as you can see. He, uh, he's selling uh, operating system for LinkedIn creators. He's selling a bunch of products on his website. And he talks about branding, business, social media, entrepreneurship, and personal branding. Now, what we can do is we can have a look at this hashtag right here. Who else has this hashtag in their profile? Um, and are they already selling uh, stuff online? So we can have a look at those people. So you always see you can drop the hashtag personal branding. You can drop that into the LinkedIn search right here, um, which is what we're going to do. And then we're going to see what that comes back with. And then obviously we have these people right here. We'll talk about personal branding. Um, these are the popular posts. Now, what you can do, um, um, you can sort by, okay, only post for last month, for example um or um or anything you know and however you want to sort it or uh, you can start looking for specific people anything like that um and then this takes a little bit of manual work where you go through it and you have a look at some of your popular posts and you start looking at okay who are these people um and you know what is their um what is their their online profile look like so uh, based on that, you go into these people and you start looking, okay, do they actually have a following? Do they have um, uh, an audience that could potentially be monetized? So this person right here, 8,000 followers, not so great. So he might not be the best fit. But as I was going through my own feed right here, a couple of people came up. So here's Florian, who has, let me see. So he has about 40,000 followers here on LinkedIn, which gives us a bit more um, potential. And the good thing is, it's really low risk. So we can really just try a bunch of these different approaches for a bunch of these people without really running any risks. So uh, we could contact Florian. We can send him a message saying, listen, Florian, um, this is what we want to do for you. Now, I will give you the exact scripts. I have them pre-written right here and you can use them. So we want to find more people like him with, I would say at least 50, but ideally 100,000 followers where we scroll through our feed and we start looking for these people. Um, so here, Florian, for example, he has in his headline helping B2B sales pros earn this and that. So we could also do another search. So we could search hashtag personal branding, or we could start looking for people with something like this in their headline. Uh, I help these and those people. Um, so they often try and have really helpful content online, which, you know, we can try and help them monetize. So another idea is, um, here's our good friend, Eric, and, uh, we want to start looking for certain keywords, right? So here he says here, are 11 AI prompts you can use. I spend over six hours testing, so you don't have to. So we can grab this type of, uh, post and we can start looking for that. That is something so. Um, here are um, XXX you can use. So we can start looking, um, we can do like a, um, a phrase match type search for this, or I spend over X hours testing. So, you don't... so this type of sentence, we can start searching for either here or in sales nav um, and see people who post similar content because they're obviously trying to um, post helpful content and, and reach a lot of people with it. And those are people we could potentially be helping. Um, and a great way of doing it is just go through your own feed and uh, see um, because if you have it sorted as sort by top, then you see the most popular people pop up on your feed right there. If you do it every single day, you contact about 10 to 20 every single day, you're going to find some people who are potentially interested. Like Justin, for example, I know he's posting some really, really good content, so he could be a potential good fit as well. And then lastly, we can have a look here in sales navigator so we can see, okay, usually marketing sales, biz dev people, they are, you know, they're online, uh, these senior people who actively post on LinkedIn. So here um, I have posted on LinkedIn the last 30 days. So these people, they're posting on LinkedIn, they're active on LinkedIn. So out of these 4 million people, we can start looking for people who have those things in their headline that we just talked about. Um, and then um, uh, we can start 
um, we can start contacting these people based on their following count, follower count, and we can see if they're potentially interested in um, content monetization. So this is obviously a bit more of a, a broader approach, but this is something that you can automate a lot easier, which is also very attractive, obviously. So imagine uh, we have a list of people that we want to reach out to. What is next? So here we are again, our beautiful business plan. So I've written scripts for you. So I've written these in about two minutes. So they're really, um, um, they're, 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 it's a rough draft. So, but you can use these and you can optimize it. You can tweak these. It's a, it's a decent start, I would say. So you, you can reach out to these people saying, hey, John, uh, how are you currently monetizing your LinkedIn audience? Asking because you partner with popular content creators such as yourself and help you create swipe files of your most popular posts. It's 100% risk-free since we front all the costs and only charge a percentage of the money you make. It's the same strategy. Justin Wells used to generate 100K in sales using his most popular content, potentially interested. So uh, we start with a question. Now, if these people are active on LinkedIn, this should be something that would trigger them because they're, they might have thought about that or they might be thinking, oh, you know what? Heck, I have a LinkedIn audience. Can I actually monetize that? That is great. So this is a hook where we hopefully get them hooked and interested. Um, then asking because you're part of a popular content creator such as yourself. Um, uh, so this explains what you do. But here you go into why it's risk free. So you front all the costs. So this is your offer, which is, you know, which is really great. Um, you front all the costs, which sounds really impressive. In the end, it's only going to be a couple of bucks and a little bit of time that you invest. And we only charge a percentage of the money you make. So that is obviously a very popular offer where uh, you don't charge them anything only if they actually make money. And it's the same strategy just on Wells. So here you name drop. Not that you know Justin, that you work with him, but you can use his name in this in this context, which is completely fine. And there's a pretty sexy number as well to throw out there. So that's how you can name drop in that outreach. Uh, here's a B version, so you can test these. And there are a thousand different ways you can do this. Um, but you can say, hey, John, how are you currently working on monetizing your popular or your most popular LinkedIn content, like last week's post on yada, yada, yada. So you obviously have a look at their popular content. You drop the title of a post in there, asking because you partner with popular content creators such as yourself and help you monetize your most popular posts. We front all the costs and only get paid if you get paid. So that's obviously something that people love. And then here is that same name drop strategy. Uh, so we leverage the same strategy Justin Wells recently used uh, to generate 100K in sales using his most popular content. Get to see how it works. So this is a very low ask CTA where they can say, heck, you know what? Sounds good. You can put a bit of a PDF pitch deck type thing together. You send them over. You record a loom saying this is how we do it. So that's that. Then, all right, the next step, you have someone who says, okay, sounds good, let's do it. So what do you do? So what you do next is you go to Canva. Uh, you can create a book cover for free. Um, you can get Canva Premium and create even better ones. Um, you can, so you can do it yourself and you can create something like this, where this, this would be the cover of the swipe file. Uh, you set up that Gumroad profile, you set up the product with a really good description. You have some titles in there of posts that you're thinking of putting in there. And then you send that to your um, your new client and you tell them, listen, you know, um, this is ready. Here's the cover. Here's the link to Gumroad. You can start sending people to there um, and we can see if people are potentially interested. So you do the pre-sale. That's something that you do first, right? So for, I don't know, uh, 20, 30, 50, 100 bucks, uh, you can have that product on there. It's the people don't actually get the product, so you put a small disclaimer in there saying this is a pre-sale, still finalizing my swipe file, but if you buy now, you get a 10% discount, and the moment it's done, I will send it to you. These people post that online, and then their audience will either purchase the product or they won't. Either way, is no biggie, right? If you don't want to do that, if you don't want to do all this, you head over to Fiverr and you ask someone to actually do it. You say, hey, here's a LinkedIn profile based on this person's LinkedIn profile and their content. Put a book cover together. Here's 10 bucks or 10 euros in my case because I am in Europe. They do it for you. You send that to um, to your influencer, to your client, to your content creator. And you tell them, look, uh, book cover. I've put it on Gumroad. It's, I've slapped the price on it. It's 50 bucks. 
it's a pre-sale, send it to your people. If they buy it, then we're in business because it seems that you're actually as popular as I think that you are. And then we actually create the swipe file for you, which again, you just send it to someone on Fiverr. You can even find the same person just on Wells use. You send that to him on Fiverr saying, look here, I have a list of 50 LinkedIn posts by this person, turn it into an ebook, please. Um, you upload that to Gumroad, you send it to the people who already pre-bought it. And then you say to your influencer, listen, everything is ready. Uh, 20, 30% is for me. Just start promoting it. And that way, um, whenever they make a sale, whenever they make a sale, you make money as well. So there you have it. That was my um, simple, low risk business idea that I think could actually generate you over 100K in sales per year. It might take a little bit to get started. Uh, because these people, they need to um, get their audience excited about their offer. But once you have a couple of influencers that you're working with, it's something that can really net you some interesting recurring revenue without uh, without having to work for every single month. So if it is something that you start, let me know. I would love to hear how it's going. Uh, either way, if you're watching this on YouTube, then I would appreciate it if you stick around and subscribe because I'm going to post a lot of content like this. Either way, thanks for watching and have a good one.